Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. We're out here in Riyadh. Um, Dave Caldwell. Did you expect that from Joshua? Do you know what? I said, I said earlier on, I fancied him to stop him. Um, and I thought it was going to be really on point. But I didn't expect it to be as brutal and as quick as that. You know, I've always said there's the danger of Ngannou because he can punch. Could he catch him on the way out? And in the first round, he clipped him a couple of times, knocked him off balance a couple of times, and he shaped up really well. And I'm thinking, he looked sharper than what he did in the Fury fight. And then he switched to Southpaw. I think there's such thing as being too smart. And I thought it felt comfortable in there, and he's gone Southpaw. The minute he's gone Southpaw, AJ didn't hesitate. He's like, okay, right hand, Southpaw, there you go, Bosch. Knocks him over. And Garnu's never had that, and he's thinking, what the fuck? I thought the first knockdown, I don't think it was particularly hurt. Then round two comes, that first knockdown in round two, he was hurt. Somebody said, oh, should he, should he have stopped it um, after that? No, you can't stop it after that. It got criticised. But the, that's where you roll the dice, you allow it to go on, which you should have. But heavyweight boxing and destruction from fighters that are capable like Anthony Joshua walks straight across the ring and detonates that right hand. Unbelievable. One of the best knockouts I've seen live, especially in the heavyweight boxing. You know the question is going to be asked now. Uh, Joshua's beat all one, the same opponent that uh, yeah. Tyson's had. Yeah. Now he's beat Ngannou, the same opponent yeah. Tyson's had. You can argue that Tyson struggled with them two guys. Um, Joshua's dismantled them. You know yourself, Dave, styles make fights. Listen, everyone going on about how Ngannou, Ngannou was taking Tyson's shots and you know, Tyson said he hit him with a right hand and he never even budged, he hit him with the elbow and never even budged. But Tyson Fury can't punch like Anthony Joshua. And I was saying, I had a discussion with, with one of the MMA guys that I spoke to um, yesterday. And I, I was saying to him, the timing and the, the technicalities of a boxer's punch is different to the MMA guys. And I think you saw that tonight, you know, as well as the abilities. You know, when you're in with a fighter that takes you 100%, you know, fully focused, he's fully focused, zoomed in, not not gonna, you know, not gonna um, take him lightly. And he's gone out there and done a, a disruption job. You know, in the old, in the older days, you'd, you'd have like Roy Jones and people like that fighting guys that you say, oh, they shouldn't be in with. And they go out and do a demolition job on them. That's what Anthony Joshua has done tonight. And that's what you should do when you're when you're elite level and you're fighting somebody that, that, that's not on your level. Who's the favourite going into that fight then? If Tyson beats Usyk, His Excellency has said that the winner of that fight does fight the winner of this fight, which is Joshua. If Tyson beats Usyk, Tyson faces Joshua, who's the favourite? This matchup's crazy. So early on in the careers, I always thought AJ beats him. And then AJ had the dip. Fury looked like he was flying. And then I was like, Fury beats him. And then now, I'm looking at the damage that Fury's taken with Deontay Wilder. I think it's had an effect on him, right? It's only natural. I'm not, I'm not dissing him. But it's only natural. You're getting older, you get you know, damage like that. Kind of stays with you. Um, and AJ looks like he's coming into his peak. I don't think Fury's in his peak. I think AJ knocks him out. Knocks Tyson out? Yeah. Ball, ball. I, uh, listen, you can only, you're only as good as your last fights, aren't you, really? Let's be, let's be right with, with his opinions, right? We all do this. It's all about what you've last seen, that's it. So what I've last seen, I'm saying, I'm saying that AJ's on a bit of a roll and he's comfortable and I think he's coming into his peak. I don't think Fury's at his peak anymore. I think the, the magnificent achievements and the performances against Wilder and then the third fight against Wilder, I think took a lot out of him. And then obviously, you know, the, the Garnu fight was tough. I just don't think he's, he's going to be at his peak anymore. So, I, I, yeah, I, I think KJ will beat him. Dave, it's four o'clock in the morning. Time to get some sleep. Cheers. You're going to call shit for me now by saying, Oh, you know my headline. Yeah, you, you're a twat. <laughs> you're a twat. And, and then I'm going to have everybody kicking off at me. But, yeah, it's just my thoughts. That's maybe enjoy talking to you, Dave. Yeah, fucking you sleep. You're peace. Me under the bus. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.